Hey everybody, thanks for being here. Today we're walleye fishing first on the Columbia River at Boardman and then up at the Potholes Reservoir. Now if you want to learn how to catch more fish, stay tuned. I'm Justin Wolf and this is Angler West Television. We've launched out of Boardman, Oregon for Columbia River Walleye, but today they'll be windy walleye. Oh man, yeah, there's some rollers out there. We're with Ray Thurford and Todd Storm. You've been in worse, right? We're fishing with Walleye Willie. So we're headed out to a hump out here. It's out in the middle of a river where nobody knows where it is. And hopefully it'll stay that way, but probably not. But there's a series of islands that run out through here called the Blaylocks. And uh, you find all these humps, sunken islands. There's a million places to fish out here. And we're gonna find at least one. Yeah, these fish are uh, real light biters most of the time. Uh, it depends on the day, every day is different. Some days they'll just uh, grab a hold of it and you won't have to do anything. But uh, last time Wraith was here, we, uh, it was a real finicky bite, real light. He caught on real fast, some people do and some people don't. So here's what I'm uh, starting with. One of the rigs is gonna be the small blade with beads on it. Uh, this is the UV blade. It's been working real good for us. And uh, we'll hook up a worm on it. So we got a two hook rig here. We're gonna hook the head on the first hook, just like so. Second hook, right about in the collar area. And we're good to go. So here we have the Max Super slow death rig. Uh, it's got a stack bead on it. Smile blade and a super slow death hook. We just slide it on there and that's how that works. So we got a couple of different rigs to try out here. See what's working. So when you get a, a hit, like right, now. like right now, you let him take it and even maybe dip your rod back a little bit. And Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. That was him, man. It was, I got about three taps, gave it a little hook set, and he was gone. Missed him. So yeah, you wanna be, you wanna be real gentle when you get a bite. Don't rip it out of their mouth. A lot of people are jerking, jerking, jerking. Most of the time you're gonna miss them. Uh, sometimes I even have guys stick them in the rod holder. And that way you can't rip it out of their mouth. Well, like I just like, like Wraith just did. Now let it be. I, I am, I'm giving him a line. Oh. I'll show you how to do it. He's still there. He didn't really cut his fish. He's got one too. Really guys? I mean, oh. Really guys? I Sorry mean, Wraith. We I took mean, what fish, happened? Buddy. Fish in the box. Very nice, Willie. Yeah, they put up a fight. Net. Yeah, my first eye, man. Good Look at job, that. Toddy. That's a smallmouth. Oh, it is a smallmouth. Of course it is. I love smallmouth. Smallie? Yeah, nice little smallie. Good job, baby. We've oh. been catching a few <laughs> smallmouth. Um, not a lot right now, but as the season goes on, we'll be catching, you know, 100 a day, some days. We try not to, but they're in here, so you can't help it. Okay, worm 101. So this is the super slow death. That's a nice hook. Yeah, small nice. blade rig. And all we do is go through the head, slide it up, slide it up, and sometimes I use the whole worm Sometimes I pinch off the tail. Uh, if they're biting real light, you want to pinch the tail off. That way they, they can't just take the tail. Okay. 
and that's ready to go. Thank you, Willie. Yep. We got a fish on here. Feels like a walleye. Bit it real light. You just let him take it. You know, don't get too excited and pull it out of his mouth. And that's how you get him on. And there he is. Nice fish. Willie's killing him. Good job, Willie. This is uh, that was a little smaller than average. You know they've been running three to four pounds, but a uh, nice fat eater. And somebody might take it home today. Well, I got bit again. He, the worm was really stretched out, and he just came up on the end and picked it up and then, and then dropped. So I'm going to try some trophy walleye on this half piece of worm. They're short striking me, so that should be good. And we'll drop her down there and see if we can't get bit. You gotta go all the way to the bottom. I'm hitting the bottom and I'm picking up about a half a crank and then just slowly tapping it along. And they're finding it, they're coming up. W w uh, Willie was right, he has us right on this little island and we're just bouncing it down on the top of it. They come up, grab it. They just, so I've been getting short bit though, so hopefully that trophy scent will do its job. Welcome back to the Columbia River. I'm Justin Wolf. We've got windy conditions to work with, but the walleye are going in the box anyway. So, well, is this a, kind of their summer uh, transition area where they come to? Yeah, this is, uh, you know, just started getting good uh, a couple of weeks ago. I noticed last time, Willie, we were fishing in eight, 10 feet of water. This time, you know, we're 18, 20 feet of water. Is it time of year or is it is just where they're at today? So a lot of it has to do with the, uh, the current flow. You know, they like a, a, not a real big current, just a, a, you know, a slight current, but that's kind of where they're gonna stack up. And of course, the, where the bait fish are is where the, you're gonna find the fish. I hadn't had a bite in like a half a drift. So I went down and put trophy walleye, one little drop. I just put one little drop on and boom, I'm on. Oh yeah, I, I catch the big ones. I, I get the big ones. <laughs> Thanks, Wally. You bet. I got one going here too. I got I got one going here too. Oh, fish on. Hey, you got your walleye, Tony. Yeah. Now I got got it off the bucket list. Let's see what it looks like here. Nice fish. So there we caught a. Uh, Fish on the super slow death smile blade rig, and it took it way down there. Oh, yeah. It wanted that thing bad. So I am going to have to get my handy pliers. Yeah, first uh, walleye off the bucket list. He's probably about, uh, oh, almost two pounds. Nice fish. So I gotta do some major surgery on this thing. Out here, what do they uh, mainly feed on? Right now we're catching them uh, because they're feeding on the lamprey eels. The, the smaller eels are coming down river. They come up and spawn and then they move down. And these uh, night crawlers resemble the, the lamprey eel. But they feed on shad. Um, they eat a lot of squawfish. That's what, mainly what I find in them is uh, squawfish smolt and uh, perch and other walleye. Eel now. We know they like the lamprey. This eel's been working really well for me. So I'm gonna have Wraith stick some on his lure and watch him catch a fish real quick. I'm, I'm getting bit on trophy walleye, so Willie gave me the eel to try. I think I'll let Todd, here you go, Todd. Todd, Todd can use the eel and I'll use the, I'm gonna oh, stick, yeah. I'm gonna, I, just, I just caught one on this, so I'm gonna stay with this. We, we've used this up in the river up in Sacramento, haven't we? Oh yeah. Yeah. Put some of that uh, eel sauce on this, man. He, hit, he hammered it. Whoa, baby. Come around, baby. Sweet. Ooh, feels a little better. Yep. Oh, Todd, Todd, I don't know what he's doing over there, but me and Willie are. We're putting, Ray's got another one on. on. He came all the way up here from California just to uh, 
uh, catch some walleye. And he, here he is doing a pretty good wow, job. That's yeah. a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Woo. Thank Way you. to go. Thank you, Willie. Good job. Body's on. Got another one on. Get this one out of the net. Oh, baby. Good yeah. job. Yeah. All right. Man. Way to go, man. Cool. Look at these two great fish we just caught. Man, this is how this is how you're supposed to do it, and this is how we're doing it. And we're gonna keep going and keep catching. And our pro cure is working great. Everything's it's on fire. Doubles. Here we go. Got a baby Louie. Yeah. Alright, number three walleye here. Oh, it's a nice one. Small blade, slow death rig. You got your small blade, you got your stack beads, and a couple other beads to uh, make it spin. Let's see how that thing spins so, so good. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, I've already heard that while is pretty good eating, uh, we got about, I don't know, about 13 pounds, and then we got the cheeks, really nice here. Here's the delicacy right here. It's a perfect morning on Potholes Reservoir in Eastern Washington. We're with guide Shelby Ross and Bobby Loomis of Max Lure, along with Ray Thurford and Todd Storm. We're uh, headed out of Mardon Resort here on Potholes Reservoir. We're gonna get some walleye today. We've got a nice breeze. Should be a beautiful day. We're gonna start on a weed line that's uh, produced a bunch of our fish the last two days and a bunch of our fish the last couple years. And uh, we'll start there, see if they're still there. We had a big breeze last night. We had 25 plus mile an hour wind. So we'll see if they moved around on us or if they're still right where they were when we left them yesterday. And uh, we'll go get them. So the walleye are post-spawn, it's late June. They're uh, just uh, basically eating everything they can catch. There's tons of bait fish, the, the newly spawn walleye perch, uh, large mouth, small mouth, all the little bait fish that are yay big are in these weed patches for cover and the walleye are right behind them, eating them out of house and home. So we're fishing a slow death rig with the night crawler that's, that's spinning, it's rotating. Every time you go to go down, you want to make sure you have that spin. If you don't have that spin, we need to adjust your bait. And you want to make sure that that uh, leader is not wrapped around the weight so that swivel can spin freely, otherwise it starts twisting up your leader. And then with your thumb, just enough line to hit the bottom. It's nine foot deep. You just want to just barely tick along the bottom. When the fish hits, you got to force yourself not to do the normal human nature thing of just yarding on it. You gotta let them eat it long enough to get to that hook. When they load the rod tip, when your weight feels twice as heavy, nice smooth forward pull and reel. On any of my trolling applications, I always run a smile blade up on top of uh, my swivels. Basically what you're doing is just adding a little more added attraction. Now, like what what uh, Shelby's got going on today, he's everything's a little bit on the minimal side. So it might be a little bit too much, we'll find out. But I'm gonna start out with a, one of our setups with the same slow death rig. Thread it the same way, but with a few beads and a smile blade. It emulates uh, one of the different uh, forage bases in the system here. You've got everything from uh, crawdads to uh, small bait fish, um, you know, mud minnows, sculpin, you name it, they got them in here. So you, you try to mimic those colors or what that forage base is that the fish are looking for. Hey Bobby, are these uh, beads UV? Yeah. Because we've got the Angler West tool here. It's got a UV light right nice. in front of it. So you can just hit these, look at that. Oh yeah. Hit, hit those up. Absolutely. Yeah, you got, I, I got a glow bead on top of everything. Yeah. I, I, 
almost all of our products are, are walleye products. I like putting a glow bead up on top, you know, underneath the, the smile blade because it gives it that, that strobe light almost effect. Just a little yeah. extra, right? A little, little extra, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. use everything to your benefit. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Neat, neat lake. Glad to be somewhere different doing uh, different things. It's it's a really neat lake. I like it. I like the way they're working. They, this, they got a big horseshoe weed edge here and he's just working right along the edge of them. Yeah, it looks like it should be fun. Right. I don't know what we got going on here. Stick? It's a big fish. Is it a fish? Yeah. Big fish. It's a 22, 23 inch start. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah, it is. Fat, healthy. We're going to let this guy go. Are these fish this size are our breeding females that uh, help the population continue. What color? Gold. Gold. Get this guy back in the water here. Welcome back to Potholes Reservoir. I'm Justin Wolf. Potholes is known for its great walleye fishing, and today we've started off with a big, beautiful female that fell for a gold smile blade, which may be the answer today. Well, it, the gold smile blade, like I said, you're, you're emulating some type of forage base in here, which is most likely a, uh, like a mud minnow type pattern or something that, that these fish are feeding on. Or a walleye. And, what's that? Or a walleye. Or, or what? Yeah, you're, you're small walleye. I mean. You've got a, a number of different things to look in that realm. This is just a bare slow death, and the last couple days it has really been producing without any color in front of it. And uh, looks like Bob is on a mission to show me that uh, gold is the color of the day. And oftentimes you just you know you start with what was working the day before and slowly uh, change your pattern to whatever they want that day. And they, uh, well, I'm. I'm 0 for 3. He just got bit off with this one, but the only fish in the boat is on that gold smile blade. So, one fish doesn't mean a pattern, but uh, you get three of them, and all of a sudden uh, we're Everybody, changing some gear. Everybody wants one. Yeah. <laughs> How close can you get there? <laughs> He's on you now? Yeah, there we go. Got him. We got him. Second bait's a charm, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice fish. Nice one. Number two on the goal. There's a fish taco. Or a few. <laughs> nice 19 inch fat walleye. Yeah, that's that's three on the gold. We might have a pattern going. <laughs> Maybe. Dinner size fish. Twenty-six foot of boat. Yeah. <laughs> Here, get the net. Here. I got it. Oh. 
chunky. Nice oh, fish. Looks like I got the big one again, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right on. You've been on there for a little bit. That's the thing about these, you know, you'll sit there and, and you'll look like what he had. That fish is sitting there pecking on it, pecking on it, and you think that fish is just following and pecking on it. Hell, they probably be, had it in his mouth, you know, and they swim right with it. They'll just stay with it, no no tension, no nothing, but just you can you can feel them chewing on the on the whole thing. All right, I'm going to demonstrate how to fillet a walleye here. It's a nice 19-inch fish. Fish this big, there's plenty enough meat in the cheek to make it worthwhile to get it out, so we'll do it first. That's my favorite part right there, is the cheek meat. Right behind the fins. Down the backbone. So we've got the fillet off here now. We're going to rinse get some slime off. It's easier to grip. And this is the tail end. Put your thumb right in the center. You just pull both halves. Peels out cross like that. That side's clean, ready for the bag. This side's got this strip, this dark, darker meat and these little pin bones. So you pinch that strip. Peels right out of there like a zipper. And remember, it's a one-way zipper. You have to pull from the tail end. It will not pull from the other end. It'll just come apart in pieces. So, And it's nothing but uh, pure white meat. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode. You know, without the support of the sponsors, the show would not be possible. So please thank them when you can. Now get out there and do some great fishing.